Hi guys, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I wanted to do a short video on how to get the right Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus if you want to root your phone. Let's go do this, baby. First of all, I know many of you will be asking me, Why do I need root? That thing is useless. Right? Uh, one of the main reasons that I root my phone um, is for root apps so I can back up my apps. And one of the most important reasons is so I can install custom ROMs. For example, I have a Note 5 that is already running like an S8 ROM. Um, so I get all of the S8 features on my Note 5 still. Or I've got an S7 running on S8 ROM. So I've got all the new features, software features of an S8. Now to get this full root with ability to install custom ROMs, you'll want to get an S9 or S9 Plus with an unlocked bootloader. Now all the international versions of S9 and S9 Plus have unlocked bootloaders, whereas US versions, Canadian versions, they don't have it. Now if you don't live in the US or Canada, um, you'll probably most likely get the international version, so you don't have to worry about it. You'll be able to root your S9 or S9 Plus. This video is for those of you guys really in the US or Canada. Um, if you buy the US versions or the Canadian versions, you won't be able to install custom ROMs. You won't be able to get full root. Now, there is a sort of a temp root method floating around um, called SAM fail, which can work. But again, because you will not be able to fully unlock your bootloader, you will not be able to install custom ROMs. And the root process is sort of complex. It's sort of a exploit. I don't actually recommend it to use it. And also you have problems uh, with the battery not charging all the way. Um, it's not a good root method in my opinion. So basically, if you're in the US or Canada and you want to root your phone and you want the ability to be able to upgrade your phone uh, with custom ROMs, let's say in a couple of years the S11 comes out, you want to be able to upgrade your software on the S9 and S9 Plus to the one on S11 and S11 Plus, you'll be able to do that easily with an international S9 or S9 Plus. If you do have the US versions, obviously you'll be stuck. When Samsung stops updating the phone, then that's pretty much what you're stuck with. Also another note, um, I know a lot of you may be on Sprint or Verizon, all of these international versions are only GSM phones, which means you can only use on GSM networks like AT&T or T-Mobile. All right, if you really want to take advantage of Root, I would actually stick with GSM networks or AT&T or T-Mobile. I actually have all four networks, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. I actually like T-Mobile and Verizon the most, but I know a lot of you don't have four carriers, you just choose one. Um, so if you absolutely want Root, I would stick with AT&T or T-Mobile because that gives you a whole range of options you can buy any unlocked international phone. You don't have to be locked into Verizon phones, Sprint phones. That's another reason why you should stick with GSM phones. Also, there is a US unlocked version of S9 and S9 Plus, which works on all four carriers in the US, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. Now those, even though they're unlocked, they're unlocked for the SIM. They don't have unlocked bootloader, all right? If you get those models, you will be again stuck with no root or the sand fail root method, right? which is not really full root. Anyway, where do you buy these international versions? I get them mostly on eBay. It is completely safe to get it on eBay. The seller I recommend is uh, never-msrp. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. Now the price right now for S9 Plus is 900, it's about $1,000 right now. It's actually a lot higher um, than price in the US. Um, but if you want to get a good deal, just wait until like two or three weeks. And if you're watching this in about two, three weeks, the price should have went down. And the longer you wait, if you wait like a month, price will actually be lower than US retail prices. So the US retail price right now, like 750 or 770 or something like that. If you wait like four to six weeks, you'll be able to get the international versions for like maybe $50, $100 cheaper. eBay sellers usually mark it up a lot just before the launch or right after the launch. But if you wait a little bit, the price will come down. Again, if you want full root, get the international versions. That's what I do my root tutorials on nowadays. And this year, starting from this year, I'm not actually buying T-Mobile anymore where I used to get a lot of T-Mobile phones. Um, again, the main reason is that I can't root it and you know there's a lot of bloatware i have the t-mobile note 8 right now and also the international note 8 daily driving both 
and I can totally tell the international version is way faster. Also, the international version come with Exynos processor, which gets better battery life, better performance over the Snapdragon. So I do recommend the international routes, especially if you want root. Anyway, I just want to make this video because a lot of you guys buy this US version and then a um, couple months later, I put my root tutorial and they're like, ah, oh, I can't root using this method. All right, I just want to give you a heads up. Um, if you already ordered the US version, just go cancel it and order on eBay. If you're worried about financing, you can sign up for eBay financing and they give you, um, you know, you can choose 12 to 24 months to pay off. And it's nearly the same as getting financing from any of the carriers. Just get the right S9 and S9 Plus if you're on GSM network um, to get full roots. And yeah, watch out for my S9 and S9 Plus root video coming soon, probably in about a week and a half. And I'll see you guys soon as always. Stay. <laughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe.